Rise and shine, ladies and gents. I'm on my bike today and I am headed to Asakusa. Yeah, I gotta work, but screw it. It is too nice today to stay in my house. Before we kick off today's video, please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can find out when fresh New Japan Guy content comes out. Great way to kick off a visit to Asakusa is to head to the Asakusa Culture Tourist Information Center. Not only are you going to get a great view and a better sense of the city, but you're also going to get a lay of the land so you can find out what things you want to go and see for the day. This is my favorite view from the deck because you can get a long distance view of Sensoji and the five story pagoda and then all of those green awnings that line Nakamise Street. I figured this was as good a place to start as any because there aren't a lot of people here. Travel hacks, baby! So we're at the base of Azuma Bashi or Azuma Bridge. And if you look behind me here, there's several famous landmarks here in Asakusa. I don't know what the, this one is right here, but this guy, that is Tokyo Sky Tree. And it stands over 630 meters tall. 634 to be exact. And the other famous one is this guy right here. Okay, and that is the famous Asahi Beer Hall, which by many accounts is a piece of <laughs> Which is unmistakable because of the golden turd on the top. Golden sperm on the top. Golden flame on the top. Yeah, it's, it's a golden flame. Let's get to the important questions. Like, how do you say golden turd in Japanese anyway? The Japanese word for gold is keen. And poop is unko. And when you put the two together, boys and girls, what do you get? Kin no unko, which means golden poop. And it's the endearing nickname of the structure on top of the Asahi building, which Asahi probably paid for, that's supposed to be that golden flame. I love how there are anime and cartoons that reference golden turds. One Punch Man does it, and even American Dad. Well, that's enough poop talk. Let's take a look around. Now we can't mention Azuma Bashi without mentioning the river that it goes across, and that's Sumidagawa. And Sumidagawa, or Sumida River, separates the Taito and Sumida wards, two of Tokyo's 23 wards. The river's a great place to sit and take in the view, watch the trains pass, sit down and have lunch, or if you're feeling really fancy, jump on one of the boat cruises. Just a short walk away from Sensoji Temple, so let's head there next. This is the entrance to Sensoji Temple, the main gate, Kaminarimon. And I don't think I've ever been to Sensoji during the day and not seen people crowded in front of Kaminarimon. 
There's just something about that giant red, black, and white 700 kilogram, 1500 plus pound paper lantern that makes people smile and want to take selfies. And that giant lantern is a really big landmark here in Asakusa. <laughs> hey. This paper lantern has two symbols worth paying attention to. That top symbol means kaminari, which is thunder. And the bottom symbol is mon, which means gate. So when you put it together, this is the thunder gate. And there are two gods that guard the thunder gate. On the right side, we have Fujin, which is the god of wind, an extremely powerful Shinto god. And on the left side, we have my personal favorite, Raijin who, according to Japanese mythology, is the god of thunder and lightning. And if I got any video game geeks in the crowd, here's something to tie it to. You know another name for Raijin? Raiden. Or, as you Mortal Kombat fans know him, Raiden. <laughs> when you think of hustle, when you think of bustle, you think of Asakusa's Nakamise Street. And it is loaded with all kinds of shops, and usually crowded with all kinds of people from all over the world. In addition to some great street food, you can find other things like paper lanterns, kimonos and yukatas, traditional Japanese masks, Japanese novelty items, cute toys for the kids, or kids at heart, and then some. So grateful that I get a chance to be out here doing this. Look at all those people. Man, stores all over the place. This is Monday, so it's not so bad. Um, yeah, but if you come on a Saturday, you're like humping other people. Don't don't do that. You you know what I mean? You just you're really packed in. You know what? It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people on a Saturday and Sunday. That was my spin move. That was my signature spin move. I should have played football. Nope. I shouldn't have played football. Like, I, uh -uh. I got bad knees and stuff. Those guys would have killed me. Even if you just take a second to, to walk around the back streets or the side streets just right next to Sinsoji, it's insane. Like, if you can see all these red shuttered doors behind me, yeah, I want to say this is the back entrance to just all these different shops that you see yeah, right along Nakamise. It's crazy, man, but this is, it's really cool if you just take a second. I could probably stay here and film all day. I don't know what festival is going on. You hear that back there? I don't know what festival it is, but it looks really cool. Golden dragons and geisha and the whole thing. Um, but I wish I had all day to stay, but I don't, unfortunately. So we're going to go check out the rest of Nakamise Dori. And Sinsoji Shrine. Get it. It's a golden dragon and drums. Does it get any better? Oh. Uh, get it. Golden dragon and drums. Get it. I wish I could rap, but I can't. Oh. Once you come to the end of Nakamise Street, you'll find the Hozomo Gate, which is the final gate before entering Sensoji Temple. And there it is, Tokyo's oldest temple, Sensoji Temple. And yes, it's been built and rebuilt over time, but it was originally built back in the 7th century. That's in the 600s, dude. That's old as hell. Ceremonial blunts, you'll be purified. And 
It's only incense, folks. But you do use the, the smoke from the incense to purify yourself before going to pray inside of the temple. can't come to Sen Soji without getting your fortune, okay? So I'm gonna walk over here and get my fortune. This is actually the first place I got my fortune done. And you know what it was? The worst possible fortune you could get. So I'm hoping that today we'll have better luck, huh? Of course it costs 100 yen because your whole life is gonna be based on 100 yen fortune that you get. Dude, drop the money in. First step done. Shake them up, shake them up, shake them up, shake them. <clears throat> this is the lucky one. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is my fortune. I'm gonna read it out to you, okay? Stupid. <laughs> so it wasn't the worst fortune, but it's still bad though. Last time I came here, it was bad. You're a liar, Sinsoji. Bad fortune. Although it seems to be quite safe, everything is full of the coming danger. You know, screw this. You meet so many sadness. So you didn't even spell sad? You didn't even write sadness is. You wrote so many sadness. So this is already invalid. Wind is so hard and make waves so hot. The pair birds should be together always, but they fly separate. Why? Your request will not be granted. <laughs> the patient is hard to get well. The lost article will not be found. The person you wait for will not come. Both any kind of marriage and new employment are bad. You know what, you. <laughs> Okay, no, here's what you do, okay? This is how you get rid of a bad fortune. Now, I could just ball it up, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna fold it nicely, and we're gonna go and tie it over here, because that's how you get rid of bad fortunes, apparently. And um, I don't pay attention to these. Life has gone pretty well. It's a step up from the last time, because I think I got a very bad fortune last time. Now it's just bad. Just tie it here, and you know, your life will be better. Problem solved. Guys, thank you so much for coming on another adventure with me. I had a great time with you today in Asakusa. I really enjoyed checking out the sights around Sumida River, going to Sensoji Temple, going to Nakamise Street, seeing the Golden Dragon Dance, and getting a bad fortune. Be sure to check out the next one, guys, when we explore a little bit more of Nakamise and some of the delicious street food that it has to offer. As always, guys, a huge thank you for taking the time to watch today. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to let me know by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing because it helps me out tremendously. And for those of you studying Japanese on your own and you're looking for a community of other self-study learners just like you, don't forget to join us at Japanese Mavericks because we'd love to have you. And I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. All right, gang, that'll wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. You know what's in Sochi? F you and your fortune. Uh. 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 That's right.